Welcome to a Geometry Nodes tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a procedural chain in Blender and how to animate it. Let's get started. At first, create a single chain link, which we will copy several times later on a curve. Make sure that the origin of the object is at the volume or surface center. That is important for the process. Then create a curve. Click on the curve, open the Geometry Nodes editor and create a new node group. Create a Curve to Points node in between and a Instance on Points node behind it. Then add an Object Info node to feed the geometry of the single chain link into the node tree. Select the chain link object in the drop down menu and connect the geometry output to the instance output of the instance on points node. You can connect a transform node in between to adjust the scale a bit. Then connect the rotation of the curve to points node with the rotation of the instance on points node to rotate all the instances along the flow of the curve. Now we are rotating every other instance by 90 degrees. For this we add a rotate instances at the back and change the Z rotation to 90 degrees. Now we want to select every second chain link. We will use their index for this. That is a consecutive number which every instance has, starting with 0. You can see the effect when I use a math add just for explanation. But we will use the modulo operation, which shows the rest of a division. So we set the math modulo node on 2, so every other chain link will be 0, which is then a false in the selection, which then will be skipped by the rotation. As you can see, the chain already works quite fine. But when we change the length, it will be ripped apart. So, we will now make the length procedural as well. For this, add a curve length node directly after the group input as first node and connect it to the count plug of the curve to points node. Then adjust the math multiply slider that the chain links fit in each other. Now you can change the curve as you wish and the chain will always be right. When you make the curve normals visible, you can see the direction of the curve. The front end of the curve changes the rotation of every next chain link when it's needed. So for an animation, the back end is more suitable, because it will look always the same. You can change the material with a set material node at the end of the node tree. If you want to animate a slithering chain like in the intro, you just need to add a trim curve node at the beginning of the node tree as the first node. Then you can use the slider to limit the length of the curve. If you keyframe the start slider with 1 at the start and 0 at the end, you will get a smooth moving chain animation. And then you are finished. Now you can convert any curve into a procedural animatable chain. If you found this video helpful, please consider a subscription. Have fun chaining and see you soon!